Good morning and welcome to the vlog. This is going to be a day in the life of a computer science student. I always like to start off with coffee. Right now I'm drinking the Starbucks iced coffee with just a hazelnut creamer. I usually have to take care of my little monkey in the morning. He has diabetes so I got to take care of him and give him his insulin and everything. And then I run straight to my computer. I've been compiling a Linux kernel all night and I believe it actually compiled so I'm super excited about that. Gotta just log into my computer and ask ChatGPT for advice on my project, make sure everything's running smoothly. Then we sit and wait. And it's time to get ready for the day and pray that that compiles correctly. So hi, my name is Sky, and I'm a third year computer science student. I've recently switched to online classes just because I kind of live far from campus and I wasn't really liking having to go to class and go to lecture every day. And I tried a few online classes out and I really liked them. So I am taking my degree online for now. That might change in the summer or in the fall if they don't offer some classes online. I might have to go back to campus, but for now I'm loving it. So yeah, I try to get ready every day even though I'm online because it just makes me feel better and more productive. Okay, back to my super messy desk. This is the part of the day where I clean up from all of yesterday's troubles. Yeah, and that is really just one day of mess. I know it looks like I haven't cleaned my desk in a week, but I usually try to clean it every day. It just gets really messy. And I usually end the day with about 10 different drinks at my desk. Gotta turn on my super cute lights. And I have to have a heating pad at my desk at all times. And there's my beautiful desk. Pretty clean, pretty cute. It'll do. Okay, time for lunch. I didn't actually really have anything for breakfast. I think I just had coffee and like a bite of a waffle. But now I'm making this baguette with oil and vinegar. Super yummy. It's not like a huge big lunch, but it's gonna do the job. Okay, let's catch up. So that bread was so good. That was basically my lunch. And while my camera was charging because the battery was dying, I was working on my operating systems project. So it's my second project of the semester and I actually just finished it, which is amazing. I wish I could have showed more of it, but also I can't really show the projects that I'm working on or too many details about like the instructions because it's intellectual property, I guess, of the school, but essentially just an overview of what we did. So for our first project, we installed a Linux kernel onto a virtual machine on our computer. And the first project gave me so many issues. I was doing it on a MacBook Pro M1 um, laptop. That's what my is hooked up to my monitor right now. And this is the first time I've ever had an issue like programming or doing anything technical on a Mac, but it was very complicated and a lot of things were not even working correctly. My husband let me use his ThinkPad Lenovo Yoga and it's been working really well. So I put a virtual machine on there and then I downloaded the most stable version of a Linux kernel. And then this week we needed to implement a new module for our kernel. So we created our own module and then we had to implement a new system call for our kernel. And that's the part that I was kind of worried about because um, we have to implement the system call and then recompile the kernel and then reboot everything. But then I just went through all the rest of the commands and it worked perfectly. And so for the rest of the day, I'm probably gonna compile the file that I need to submit for that project. So I should be able to put that together quickly. And then I have a lot of work to do for my information assurance class, which is basically a cybersecurity class. And I have a lot of modules to do for that one. And that whole class is set up on a separate website than my school's website. And it's basically all the challenges, like this week we have 30 challenges and they're basically all capture the flag. So that's due in about three days. So I really need to get 
get going on that because I haven't even started it. And then the last thing, I just have to make sure I'm keeping up with my linear algebra class. That class is the only one that I'm taking that's accelerated right now. So I need to make sure that all of my online homework problems are all up to date and nothing's due too soon. But I'm gonna get to work and I'll check back in soon. Um, and I finished nine, almost 10 of the challenges for my cybersecurity course. And there's 30 due this week um, or due in like three days. So I feel like getting a third of them done, having three days until they're due, that's pretty good. And I'm going to stop there. And then I also did put all of my files into a zip folder for my operating systems class, but I'll probably just double and triple and quadruple check it before I turn it in. That's due tomorrow. And then I did also kind of just notice like an hour ago that I have two homework assignments due for linear algebra tomorrow. Um, I'm not too worried about those, but I'm definitely gonna focus on that for the rest of the day. So my plans for tonight, I'll probably spend maybe since it's 6.30, another hour, maybe only like another 30 minutes or 45 minutes on linear algebra and just try to get a feel for how much work it's gonna be. Um, but that's probably gonna be tomorrow's problem anyway for the two homework assignments. And then I'm probably gonna start dinner soon. We've been doing HelloFresh. This isn't sponsored, but as a student, it is really easy to just know what you're gonna be making that night. And they're usually like 30 minute meals. And compared to the cost of eating out, they actually have been saving my husband and I a lot of money. So I'm excited to do that. And then I usually try to stop working and doing schoolwork around at least by like 8 p.m. Sometimes I do run a little bit longer or if some things do that night or if I'm compiling some kernel all night, you know, you just have to keep going. But tonight is one of those nights that I did enough work today that I can just take the night off. So I'll try to show you as much as I can of the rest of my night. absolutely atrocious. I promise I look way cuter than this normally and I need to get my lighting figured out but obviously I'm in the kitchen so there's not much I can do. So we started this vlog in the kitchen and we're going to end it here. I'm going to be making HelloFresh which I have to get the ingredients out and I'll get the rusty part too. Comes in a bag like this. I'm making crunchy Italian chicken sheet pan bake um, and it looks like that. And then all the instructions are on the back. It's really easy. I've been actually loving it. Recently, my favorite part of like every day is just making dinner at night and then watching my shows. I've been watching Big Brother recently, season 16, when, if you don't know, I mean, you should know. That was a long time ago. Um, when Derek won. And then I'm kind of re-watching season 17 just because I love Vanessa Russo. She's a game theorist and she's a professional poker player. She played and she got like third, which I totally wish she won. But yeah, I've been loving watching my shows and then cooking. It's just like a really good end to the day. But yeah, I'm gonna make this dinner. So I have to cut up these potatoes. That looks so good. Preheat to 425. It's kind of messy back there.
Also, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, that's where most of my content is. That's where I started creating content about computer science. I think it was about two years ago. I think I'm gonna make the rest of this HelloFresh and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And I think my last plan of the night would be to probably take a bubble bath because I take one almost every night and I love to read. It really helps me to stop scrolling. Satellite, so if you wanna dip, let's dip, baby.